Hey everybody, this is Chuck with CyberSmart Web Marketing Solutions. Today I want to show everybody how to make a, a post in WordPress. Some of my clients um, get intimidated and confused about it, and it's really kind of simple. If you, if you can use Facebook and make an email, you really can make a post very, very easy in WordPress. So if you go to your website, and if I installed it, I also installed this admin bar that you see up here. And you would go to post, and you would go to add new. Let's say that you're a, you have a drywall business and you did a, a job in Skokie, Illinois, and um, you want to upload some photographs and talk about this job that you did. Uh, for and This is for advertisement purposes, and, and each one of these posts that you make has a chance of showing up in the search engines. So if you do a, a job in Skokie and you uh, title your post accordingly with those those keywords, um, the next si time someone in Skokie or whatever town it is in, in your area, there's a chance that this individual post could show up and bring, and bring you work. And that's the power of blogging for business and using WordPress um, to blog. Now, it's different than a page. Let's, let's go visit the site real quick here. I'll show you the difference. Okay, this is CyberSmart. I built this it's actually only two weeks old. But this is the landing page. This is the home page. And your business will have a home page. But you get two things with one here. Not only do you get this, that, that can stay the same or you can update it if you want. But you also get a blog, which is another page in itself. But what this has is your latest post, your updates. And as people scroll down, this one I did on December 3rd, and you can control how many you want to show up here. Um, I think you can have up, up to 10 different posts. And if they click on the title, then that actually goes to the individual posts. Now I'm no longer on the blog. Now I'm on this individual post. And that's what we're going to be making. So I'm going to go to Edit Post, because that's a draft that I had created. And if you go to Edit Post, this is to show you all your posts. You, you can get to them through here. But okay, this is a post that I'm actually going to be posting on how to post. Some things you want to keep in mind here. This is this is your your title tag, okay? And you want to make sure that you have it uh, your keywords in there. This is your heading one. You want this to be a heading one, and you set that right here. Heading one tag, heading two, regular paragraph form. That's how you change that. So you'll want a heading one tag, also with your keywords in it. And then your text, whatever you want to say. And you'll want to include your keywords somewhere in this text, just once so you don't have to bombard it. And then if you wanted to add, let's say, a photo of the job, it's much like uh, Facebook and other things. I want to put the, a photo right here. If you notice right up here, you have some icons for adding things. This one's for a photo, an image. And as you see, it's pretty much like any other application. You find your, your photo on your desktop, and then you upload it. There it is. It gives you some more options if you want the photo to appear to the left or to the, in the center or the right, full size, or you can make it smaller. We'll just insert it as it is right now. And that puts the photo in there. Now, let's say if you wanted to add a video. I always install a plugin called Smart YouTube, and here's why. Watch how easy this is. We'll just go to YouTube. This is a video tutorial on Cam Studio, which is the uh, software I'm using right now to record this. But all YouTube videos over here give you two things. Embed. Now you can embed the video as well. That's one way you can do it. But Smart YouTube is great. And what you do is copy the URL. And we'll go back to our post. And we simply paste that URL. And then right after the P in the HTTP, we want to put a V. Just like that. Now, what that's going to show up is in our player that we set up uh, with custom colors and all kinds of great stuff. So, And that's it. That video is going to show. 
I want this video to show in the middle though and not to the left so I'm going to use this right here you can also do that with text and that's the basics of a post I mean you can have uh, a lot of different uh, things in here you could say a lot more it's good to have like 350 words is, is okay um, 750 is, 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 is the best and that's the basic format you can also change colors if you highlight stuff here right here is your colors and you can do more custom colors if you wanted um, if you had a link if you wanted a link to, uh, to this anchor text right here it opens up a window and you would put the URL you want to link to and whether you want it to open in a new window or in the same window and then you would click insert and that would put a link of course bold italicize and strike through basic functions on most web applications that's how easy it is with WordPress to make a post now once you do that you want to do two other things and that's post tags and categories I did a blog article the other day and what the difference is what you want to remember is you, you want to add the post only to one category some people put it in subcategories and it gets too confusing what you want to do is set up your categories if you wanted to add a new category you click on add new category you would type that in there and then click add and it would show up in this list but this is a free tutorial video so I selected that one now that's real general if I want to get more specific and you do you know this is for Google and for people it's telling Google what's going on here you can add tags and you could add multiple tags for this right now I've added blogging for business free WordPress tutorial video making a new post if you were doing a drywall and new Linux you might want to put a new Linux drywall installing drywall new Linux you know stuff like that and you just type it in there and click add so you want to make sure you got your post tags and you want to make sure you put it in a category okay so we got this your title tag your heading one and if you had more paragraphs with the uh, subheadings they would be in sub uh, heading two if you wanted the link it showed you how to make a link how to add a video and how to add a photo the next thing is a plugin that I installed that's called all-in-one SEO pack I did a podcast about this, uh, the top five WordPress plug plugins the other day, and this is a real important one. What this does is it allows you to do custom SEO, search engine optimization for Google and other search engines, to every single post and every single page um, uh, singularly. And um, that means that you can have different title tags, uh, different keywords, and a different meta tag description for each of your posts and pages and this this gives you a lot of power where this is going to show up and let me tell you the dip, what this is actually doing that is overriding this see prior to coming out with that plugin this was going to be your title tag follow my cursor way up here in the left this is where the title tag shows up when you when you look at websites it's real important to have this with your keywords in it for Google okay once you once you put this in here don't ever change this again because it'll screw up your link if you need to make adjustments you're gonna make it down here because the all-in-one SEO is gonna override that okay so that's the title tag that's gonna show up this is gonna show up in the, on the Google search results a short free tutorial video so you and it's also the meta tag description for Google so you want to have your keywords here you want to have your keywords here and then you also put your keywords in themselves right down here in the space provided for keywords and you want to put a comma and a space in between each of your keywords for this particular post so once you have all that done you can either preview it you could save it as a draft if you wanted to do some more editing to it later we're going to go ahead and we're going to preview it. In it. Now with the smart YouTube, I chose a blue border. You've got all kinds of choices with that plugin of how 
the player is going to going to show up for the videos that you put in, and you just put the URL URL in, and uh, a, a V after HTTP. I mean that's very si simple, no embedding or anything like that. And that's basically how you make a post in WordPress. Be sure to pick up my RSS feed for more my latest podcasts. And now that this is my first uh, Cam Studio uh, video tutorial, so I'm experimenting with this new software, and I'll be making more of these in, in the future as well. So thanks again.